Um, FHRC Brony here to, today. I'm here to talk about to you guys uh, about the uh, onboard audio system on your Tractor Slash. And this is not a video of a tutorial of me showing you guys how to set up the onboard audio system and how to install it on your car or like on your Slash that doesn't have an onboard audio system uh, pre-built. This is just a video of how it, how it works and uh, how to use the onboard audio system if you have one uh, either separately or you have it pre-installed pre in your Traxxas vehicle like the Slash. So I'll show you the the system and yeah I'll just get on to the video. Uh, slash two-wheel drive Courtney Force Edition that I bought uh, just yesterday for $290 and that's with the tax inside at my local RC hobby shop in Long Beach, California. Um, I gotta say it's a really good car so but in this video I'm not gonna talk about my thoughts on this I'm gonna show you the uh, the onboard audio system on this car and uh, show you how it works okay, take it off real quick all right let's just see if I can zoom in right there Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm sorry if it's kind of uh, bad quality a little bit. This is not the best camera. I don't have any high tech stuff. Anyways, um, the OBA system, which is this little uh, little device here, is the main module. Uh, uh, this is the one that creates the all the sounds for that delivers it to the speaker. Uh, what you have here, you got the power button over here. You get the volume, uh, the volume control, the uh, volume down and volume up. And I gotta say, if you guys watched that video I posted just a few, uh, just a few hours ago, I gotta say, this car is loud. <laughs> With the Ombre audio system, it is loud. I can tell you that. And I was really impressed with it. I I thought the speakers is gonna be be crappy but it's not it, it's really good so uh, basically uh, is connected to uh, how, how like how does my throttle respond to the to the system like how do, if I if I uh, pull this trigger on the on the transmitter how does that get that revving sound um, it's mainly because it's connected to the to the receiver and stuff like that and and uh, that's pretty much like what it is. It's the receiver. Um, all the the commands that you give it to, um, not just by throttle, um, mainly throttle because you know the engine goes on the throttle. It's uh, it's working with the uh, system. The onboard audio is uh, used to help the to make the car sound real, uh, like uh, as you were driving a real car. I'm sorry, that I'm kind of. Um, talking a little bit sloppy here today. Um, um, it's my first time talking about the OBA system. Um, so, okay, let's let's cut to the chase. So, like I said, the onboard audio system is made. It was made to mainly make your car sound like a real car. So there's basically nothing special about it other than just uh, making engine noises and and uh, make the car sound real. And the interesting thing is, if you guys didn't know this, the 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 engine noises that's exclusive to the onboard audio system is is from the torque uh, torque racing drivers Mark Jenkins and I think Mike Jenkins. Um, so go check them out too. Um, they are the one of the founders of the of the Traxxas line. And yeah, so all right. Uh, I'm not blabbing about that. Let's go see in action. How does it work? So on the car, you probably will not see that. It's kind of dark here. Those are the speakers. Uh, you've probably seen them in my unboxing video. And um, the, this is a BEC connector. And to install that, like to plug it in, uh, to, turn, to activate the onboard audio system, you just got to plug it in. In. 
kind of difficult because you can barely see that. So I'm going to lower the camera a little bit so you guys can get a better sh uh, look at it. Hopefully you guys can see that. You guys could see that. Uh, let me move the light a little bit to a certain angle so you guys can see it. How's that? Yeah, that's better. Uh, that will do. Yeah, that should do. Um, I may have to uh, do some further adjustments if, if this doesn't go out too well, but this will do for now. Yeah. Just the camera. Um, there you go. All right, so okay. So how do you? How does this thing work? This is that's the main thing. Uh, basically, you plug it in. You you have to plug it in. Uh, once I first got it out of the box, it, you. It will not be connected. This little BEC connector will not be connected. So I'm gonna plug it in from turn on my ESC and my battery. Turn on the controller. So basically, once you got plugged in, you got the these three. Uh, this little switch over here. The switch is the third channel. This is drive and this is neutral mode. Turn on, to turn on the onboard audio is. Pull the trigger. Sorry if I can add, uh, I will not adjust the volume to its high maximum because I, I live in, a, in an apartment and I don't want to disturb other, uh, disturb other neighbors. Alright, so here we go again. It's going to shut off if it's not in uh, seasonal command. So uh, turn it back on. So this is neutral mode. Down, it's in drive mode. I'm gonna lift the car up so it's gonna see ya. Uh, neutral mode in drive mode. So that's basically it about the onboard audio system. It's it's nothing too crazy special when you think about it. Uh, I'm gonna move the light. Uh. All right. So, like I said, nothing too special about the onboard audio system. It's just makes your car sound like a real car, but it may not it may not be special, but it does sound amazing which I love about this car. So, so after that, uh, after a few minutes of driving on that one video that you guys saw, I like it so far. So, uh, sorry if this is more of a rambling video, I'm kind of blabbing about other stuff, but if I got to my, got to my point, showed you how it works and, and show you how, how to operate it, with while your car is running so hope you guys hopefully enjoyed it if you if you liked it please hit the thumbs up if you don't like it please hit the thumbs down either way it helps me a lot and I appreciate your feedback so thanks for thanks for tuning in I will have another RC tutorial of how to change your tires on a Traxxas Slash or any Traxxas vehicle and I'll be making another one of uh, spur gear and spur gear replacement. 
or how to change. Maybe I'm probably doing a spur gear replacement or do a video of how to change your gearing on a slashed two-wheel drive. So there you guys have it. Hope you enjoyed.